I'm really psyched about our next guest. He's in a virtual green room, kind of trapped in a virtual green room, if you will. My friend Rancher Ron has taught me all about feral hogs and trapping them. So who knew that we'd have no golden on with us? And that's what he does. Wireless traps. If you're a rancher, you have a wild or dangerous animal on the property. Feral hogs that I just mentioned. My friend has that uh, problem. Also coyotes, you know, that kind of stuff. And he joins us uh, now. So this is really a big problem, as you know, for a lot of people, isn't it? Absolutely, Kate. And I appreciate the opportunity. People just don't really realize how much of a problem it is. I know there's been some quote, reality TV shows that show the excitement of it. But it's a huge problem. There's over 5 million hogs in the United States. 38 states have hog, feral hogs in their states. And in Texas, we've got uh, over 2 million. And the numbers are growing literally exponentially. Uh, They don't have any natural predators except when they're little babies. And then they have a mean mama taking care of them. So it's becoming a huge issue. Yeah. The, um, you know, with what you're talking about, the traps, it, the first question I have is you, you're talking how big the problem is. How does the technology work? We use a combination of cellular technology managed on the Internet. There's a hardware that's installed at the traps. So if you can envision uh, a great big pen 30 feet across, so that's 100 feet in circumference. You've got a trap door and like a deer feeder in the middle. So there's a constant food source. When the hogs come in the trap, attracted by the corn from the feeder, our emotion sensor goes off and we take pictures of whatever is coming in that trap. It may be deer, it may be raccoons, and then we're sending those to the internet. So we suggest that our, uh, that when that gets installed, the, the customers, you know, have their cup of coffee in the morning, look at the pictures on the internet, and, and, uh, then eventually the hogs start coming in. And at first, it'll be just a few because you've got the curious, dumb ones that, uh, that, that come in first and the smart ones stay outside. They, they travel in family groups that it can be up to 30 or 40 in a, in a group. And, and that's where the, the unique aspects of our technology come into play. Because a traditional trap, there'd be a tripwire. Those first few come in, the tripwire goes off, you catch three hogs, and there's 30 outside that not only did they not get caught, they learned not to go in the trap because they are extremely smart. So with our system, the uh, landowner gets to see when those hogs are coming in and when he's got the whole group coming in and then simply changes online so that he starts getting pictures on his phone. He's seen that they've been coming in at 11 o'clock. He gets the first picture. He goes, nope, that's just those first three dumb ones that keep coming in. And then he waits, and the next picture shows more. And when he gets the whole group in there, he uses his phone, and he closes the trap. And it can be anywhere. You can be, you know, 100 miles away at home having dinner when the hogs are out uh, at the ranch. So this has got to be, I'm thinking off the top of my head, this has to be a way more humane way to do this, isn't it? Absolutely, because... This is the only system that allows a human to be in control of what gets caught and when. So first of all, you're not using snares or other kind of things that can damage the animal. And secondly, if if you've got deer or some other kind of non-targeted species, they call it, that's in the trap, you simply don't trip it. And thirdly, it's not humane to trap an animal and then leave it in there. Uh, So with our system... If you're not ready to go out and take care of the animals the next morning, you just don't trip the trap. Uh, so it is a much more humane and effective way of, of trapping. Yeah. As you say, it's effective. It's an effective way of doing this. So the question that, you know, people with kids would have or mm-hmm. worried that somebody would accidentally not see it and that kind of stuff is there a big risk of accidents with the traps? Is there a way around that? These hogs are actually coming into more urban areas. Mm. Um, in, in the Dallas area, the hogs are encroaching on uh, the human population. It's kind of mm. not the way around because uh, anywhere that there's a river, there's going to be hogs. And they are uh, coming into, into subdivisions. They're tearing up golf courses. 
Wow. And so in a lot of these places, they want to have to be able to control uh, those animals, but not have, uh, you know, Fifi caught in the trap. And so, again, this is uh, because a human makes that decision, I'm going to trip that trap. There's no risk of it going off uh, accidentally. It, it's a secure lock that's holding the gate open, and when you release that lock, it closes. So it's, it is a very safe way of trapping. All right, we're speaking to uh, Noel Golden, and of course, what uh, we're talking about is these wireless traps. And I keep focusing on the hogs, but it obviously works for others as well. What's you know other uh, animals as well? I mentioned coyotes too. Right. How big? What's the biggest? Are the hogs the biggest problem right now, or are there other other things like uh, coyotes or coyotes a little bit bigger? What's the biggest problem for most people right now? Well, the hogs are, are the, the single biggest problem because of the damage that they do to crops, uh, the damage they do to water. There's actually some state-funded uh, grants in Texas because of the pollution that the hogs are causing to the water supply uh, because they hang out in the creeks and then that flows mm. downstream. There are certainly other species, uh, and, and coyotes is, is up there because... Uh, the coyotes will kill calves. They'll kill. They'll kill horses. They'll kill all kind of other animals. So the coyotes are are a significant problem, and they are very smart as well and very shy. Um, and we are having significant success with coyotes. Um, one kind of fun uh, fact is that um, in Hawaii they have problems with feral goats. Um, and you, does everybody you know the joke about how the goat will eat anything? <laughs> Can you imagine uh, a goat eating all your pretty plants in Hawaii? No, um, and, it's awful. And uh, so we have uh, people that are catching that are catching feral goats in Hawaii. Oh, you have to love that. The um, yeah. so how does a guy like you get into the business of trapping and this wireless video monitoring from your cell phone? How did you, <laughs> how did you jump into this gig? That's a that's a great question, and uh, and it was actually by accident. My background is in in the wireless communications field, and we started this company for the uh, the security for the access control industry. So we've got airports and schools and self storage facilities and trucking companies all using our our wireless technology and the internet to be able to control who enters their property, and then have a record of who's entering their property. So there's uh, no other system out there that that does this. And uh, one day my nephew said, so you can, it can be solar powered. Yes, it can be solar powered and cellular. So it can be anywhere. Yes, it can be anywhere. And you can take pictures and open and close locks. Yes, I can do that. He said, well, can you trap a hog? I said, well, sure, but would anybody pay for it? So we started doing it. And sure enough, what we accidentally fell into was uh, what we did not understand was that because a human can control what gets caught and when, then they can catch 30 at a time instead of three at a time. So it really is the most effective way of uh, trapping. But, uh, but uh, our, uh, the biggest part of our business is still in the access control world where um, you want to be able to control who enters your property and you want to have a record of who enters your property, and it will work anywhere because, again, it's, it is cellular and it can be solar-powered. You know, it's interesting uh, talking about that. I just had to get a whole new AC done in my house, and we have that access. It's amazing what you can do with your cell phone, how you, you can video cameras, monitor, everything hooked up right through that. It's crazy. Right. Um, but all these technologies that you see on TV that talk about doing that require a uh, broadband Internet uh, connection. Yeah. Um, and and so where we go are where there are no wires. There is no Internet. So we can go to farms and ranches. We can go to uh, oil wells. We can go to uh, self-storage facilities. They don't have that wired infrastructure. But uh, even airports where they're trying to um, control who's you know, going through different gates and for various reasons, they can't run a wire across the runway, for example. It's both urban and uh, rural uh, customer base. So anywhere that you want to be able to control and monitor access, but you can't connect with wire, that's where we play. That's cool. NG, check it out. Uh, he's got good stuff going on. Wirelesstraps.com. Thanks for hopping on with us. We'll talk to you again in the future. 
Fade. It was wonderful. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>